What's up, y'all? This is the context again, and uh, just bringing you a little bit of kind of play and chat type stuff. Uh, hopefully getting some revenge on the gargoyles, but right now I'm just gonna talk about what's been up. Uh, for a few days, took the family on vacation, went to Garmisch, Germany, which I have a quite a bit of video for snowboarding. And uh, I did realize while I was on this trip, as driving for significant amounts of time will uh, give you plenty of time to think, that really, uh, I'm, I'm excited about bringing you guys all this, so uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying it. And uh, as I do have the first Dawn of War 2 video uploading, uh, I realized obviously I still have a lot to work on in that area, but I figure one with dialogue it'll come more natural as I uh, do it more and uh, I think quality of figuring out how everything works that will uh, improve as well once I figure out the programs I use and how to do everything I guess appropriately compared to uh, what I have been doing it Now, something that uh, will be a limiting factor to these videos is my internet connection, as I do live in Italy at the moment. Uh, the internet here is subpar, I would say, at least for the region I live in. It's uh, borderline just dial-up, really. You end up with a... Uh, well, what I what I use is basically borrowing dial-up from someone via Wi-Fi. And this is like a legit company I'm going through too, so it's not necessarily me just uh, cheaping out. It's the only thing available in the house we have. I will be moving this summer, so at some point the videos will slow down significantly. Um, around probably May time frame get a few uh, well that'll be when they slow down because they'll be shipping my stuff on to uh, the next place I work and that'll only be for like a year and then I'll move from there again not sure where yet however there is a uh, chance it could be anywhere really we do have a few places we're hoping for but uh, no word has come yet but uh, on to gaming and such if there's uh, any any type of game you guys are interested in seeing I do have a decent array of games. I think I have like 61 or so in my Steam library. And I also have a few that are uh, not on Steam. Let's search and see if I have any. No, I'll just go try and stab him and... Oh, or not. Oh, that worked pretty well then. Alright. Oh, and of course, on a character I probably won't use it, the Fang Boar Helm. Looks cool. It's obviously better than nothing. Has pretty poor uh, elemental defense, though. But weighs quite a bit for a hat. 8 compared to, let's see, 4.5 is my next largest. But, in my opinion, looks cool. Now, like I was saying, uh, I enjoy quite an array of different types of games, so uh, I do have Fallout 4, but I know that's kind of like probably being done to death at this point. Not that I don't necessarily want to do it, but I'm sure there's uh, other people with uh, much more knowledge if you guys are... completely forgot there were zombies back here. I'm sorry. Undead. 
But uh, Fallout 4, Civilization 5, Borderlands 2, let me think, what else do I have? XCOM, I have not got XCOM 2 just yet. I do plan on getting it. I like the idea that uh, they're continuing on from the aspect that uh, Earth has lost and is now at the uh, mercy, I guess you would say, of the aliens. Um, other plans for games, as I am a huge fan of the Dark Souls series, Dark Souls 3 coming out in April is going to be a big deal for me. I can do that. Uh, as long as everyone is cool with me doing a blind playthrough and being okay with lots of deaths because that is definitely going to be part of a blind Dark Souls 3 playthrough. But seeing where that franchise is going and it most likely being the last game is for sure on my radar. Another one is an RTS coming up. I I do enjoy RTSs. I do believe they're being watered down here as of late simply because it it's kind of become a rock paper scissors type of I guess approach where it went from, you know, Age of Empires style games and Empire Earth even where there's 10 plus factions to choose from. Now you're playing a game where you have three. You have Army 1 does this, Army 2 does this, Army 3 does this. Whoa. So, that is... Oh, bad. Don't continue to attack. We're just going to do this little thing, aren't we? Alright. Anyway, continuing on about uh, RTSs. Uh, Ashes of Singularity is one. I'm not sure when it's coming out, but I do know that uh, it looks good, and if everything they're claiming about the game, it's going to be... If everything they say about the game is true, then it's going to be, in my opinion, a phenomenal game. But I'm sure everyone that's uh, listening to this really has uh, has had experiences with what a manufacturer claims versus what they actually present with a game especially anybody who was uh, looking forward to Alien Colonial Marines, which at the time I was, as well as uh, another one is the most recent Duke Nukem game. Alright, I will go give the gargoyles yet another shot. Hopefully I don't continually make the same mistakes. Oh, man, I was down for a minute there. Yeah, stun locked him. Oh, don't do this again. Man, they like to breathe fire a lot. Alright, let's see if I can uh, at least get some damage on you. Nope. Oh no, don't, don't do this. Don't do this where you're just going to spam the fire attack. Oh gosh, I'm actually going to survive that. Oh, run away. Maybe I should have, I don't know, brought some kind of... 
ranged attack into this because I am just getting wrecked here by. No! Alright. Alright, got one. Now let's see if I can keep from completely failing and dying to this single guy here. And goodbye. Alright, well, I have successfully gotten my revenge. I received the Gargoyle Halberd, in case you couldn't see that. And I will continue on up and catch you guys on the next video. Peace out.